the question for you. Can I, we take that question if you don't mind? Well, right. I, I, She's not a heckler. I, not I, on my I, list. I don't know much about Muhammad, but no. so Muhammad, if he was on earth and somebody did something, Muhammad would punish them? Not himself. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa being, when he was a state leader, there would have been a system of governance, laws and for punishment and crime. And based on that, being a state's person... But Muhammad wouldn't punish No, 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 no. It's not... It, it's not in, I, I'm answering. Not individually, because he has established a state in which there will be a judge, there will be a judge in which the crime will be established, and then the punishment on an established criminal will be implemented. But don't you think that's the same in Christianity? Because they have the... Ten, we have, I, I'm non-religious, by the way. Mm. Used to be a Catholic, so, you know. But so we have the Ten Commandments, that we shouldn't do these things. You know, so don't you think it's a similar, so the example, similar thing? It's not similar. I would, I would wish it was like that, but it's not in practical level. So the example, the practical level, if someone now commits adultery, right. having sexual relations outside marriage, right. Christianity does not offer a punishment for this criminal behavior. It's okay, so let's just say, let's just say right here in England, On this flight. let's just say right here in England, and a woman, you know, a Muslim woman mm. commits adultery, you're going to stone her to death in England? No, no, I'm not asking for what punishment. So. I'm saying, according to the law of God, how does the law of God take care of instability in a society How are you going to do that here? no 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 it's not mean in uh, my i'm asking you a question i mean I, answer I, is this I, the answer is this yes christianity does not offer a solution but neither does the neither does the muslim religion in we england. have a solution in no in england muslims I mean, are not in, in power you're not in, you're not in, I'm, uh, muslims I'm, I'm truthfully curious i really am muslims are not in power in a legislative sense in England, right. where they do not implement the Islamic law right. and implement crime there and punishment system. A little system. bit of Islamic no, no, law here. A little, a little not, not, in, not in the legislative body. But, but this but, country but, but, is not run by Sharia law. Yes. So because of the absence of the Sharia law, Muslims cannot expect the adulterers to be punished in the Islamic way because it's not run by Islamic law. It's a secular country. But if you have a country in which they implement Islamic law, they can implement the punishment to an adulteress. So the question we were talking about... Do you think in this day and age now that most Muslim men I don't know how many are here, would want a woman to be stoned to death. The question is not about the modality of punishment. The question is about whether there is a punishment and can it be implemented to stabilize the society. Islam as a holistic... To give you an example, can I? And then I'll come back to Camille. Okay. Islam, give, you cannot steal. Because stealing is taking away the rights of another person. Right. And stealing carries after it's established that this person didn't have a need to steal and it was secured on a lock and key and he broke or she broke and that lock and key and stole it it wasn't like you know hanging off million pound in the back pocket and walking in the public it wasn't like that it was from a safe locked under lock and key and it was all the security measures the one who stole he was not a billionaire with no need or, 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 or sorry he was not someone who was like a poor person with a need and so on and so forth right all of that things, and once crime is established, this person will be punished by cutting of the hands. Right. right. Now, if it is established that this person stole a bread from a supermarket because they were dying of starvation, no food, no one offered, no neighbor offered food for him to live, no state as a body gave him this food, the punishment of cutting the hands would not be applicable, cannot be applied. Anyone disagree? Anywhere? Anyone disagree? Raise your hands. Uh, probably can Look around. Actually. Okay. How many Muslims are there? Raise your hands. How many white? Muslims. Oh. And how many of you disagree? No one. Why? No, because we... Because he's not a Muslim. <laughs> so now, as you realize, there money. are conditions... Anybody you can ignore him, he's a heckler. The there, are, you know was true? there are Two conditions... Well, uh, I cannot, I, I'm trying to answer you, I, I, but he's distracted. So, so there are conditions which need to be met before punishment is implemented. But the fact of the matter is, when the system of governance is in place, it cannot be only crime and punishment, it has to be holistic. Education system, social system, 
moral system, all of that. Because people need to be people need to be educated that stealing is wrong. You cannot punish someone without telling them stealing is wrong. But don't we as a society, I mean, given religion different, everybody knows you shouldn't steal. But whether you're religious or not. But but okay, but the issue is not everyone steals. Right. So those who steal, we need to deal with them to prevent them from stealing your money, your house, your jewellery. We need to stop doing that because you have your right of your own property. That should not be... Think, you don't think the laws of the land are enough? They're not sufficient. <laughs> That's why Islam has a complete solution. So, so if I, if I if return to... Camille, Camille. So the example I've given you demonstrates demonstrates Christianity of today doesn't have the foundational principles of being an universal religion. Let's, let's come back to the, like, the specific prescriptions of the religion maybe in the future discussion, but I wanted to yeah. come back actually to a completely different topic. Sure, sure. Your wages are going to get dumped if you carry on doing this. Okay. okay, everyone, pay attention. Pay attention, everyone, to Camille. Okay. Brother, don't speak to a heckler. Thank you. Thank you, Camille. I was waiting for that. About time you implemented the law. All right, anyway. So, so the thing I'm actually interested in right now is like the evidence for Islam, right? So we talked about, last time we talked about the prophecies, the miracles, and we talked about the... Why aren't there evidence for Islam? What's that? Why are they not evidence for Islam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so one, you said... Take care. So, I mean... Um, before you go, sorry, sorry, before you go. Just one second, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. We would, from the bottom of our heart, invite you to look into Islam and accept Islam, become a Muslim, which is surrendering yourself to the will of God. I don't believe in any religion. No. It's not about religion, it's about knowing the one who created you and thanking and being grateful to that creator. Because you and I know, I did not create the universe, right. I, neither I, did you. Yeah. So it's to be thankful and grateful to that creator of ours, and we say this is the one who is worthy of our worship. Well, I'm interested in all religions, yeah, yeah. to be honest. So, this is, clear. so the know, one who's I'm worthy of our everything. worship, the one who's worthy of our worship, is the one that we are asking you to embrace him and follow the law and the will and the guidance to that, and that is Islam. If you didn't know much about it, I'm sure my friends and my brothers and sisters are more than willing to explain to you. Because I'm, because I'm engaged here, not engaged in the sense, but in a conversation. I'll um, come back next Sunday and see what I mean, we can have a talk about. discussion. But please speak to my, my brothers and my uh, sisters over there. Right? You take care.